everybody welcome to the next video in the beginner series this week we're going to talk about jerk baits anybody that follows me knows this is my favorite bait the sewer thriller there are a lot of jerk baits on the market but this one has been around for 70 plus years it's a time proven bait and period it just catches fish there's many different styles available in the Suic lineup for the thrillers. This one, I don't know if you can see it, there's a weighted one. These are traditionally for working um, a little bit deeper and they have a little bit more hang time. So the basically the concept behind this bait is when you jerk on it, it'll dive and then it'll rise back up. So it's very effective working around cover and structure, especially like deep weed beds, uh, even shallow weed beds, because you can feel what you're hitting, and when you pause, it rises itself out of it in most cases. So that's the weighted one, and we're gonna demonstrate that here in just a minute about the hang time with it. Okay, so the high impact plastic, I bump these around rocks, docks, all kinds of things. Um, they're really great, it's just another tool. It's uh, depending on the situation, what you're gonna use. Uh, but I like the high impact plastic just for that reason of, it's not indestructible, but it's pretty close. Um, so that's the high impact plastic. There's also the regular ones. Oh, speaking of the high impact plastic, there's a new design out with Suic where you can actually drill and make your own inserts to weight these now. So you get the benefit of the high impact plus the weighted, um, the weighted bait. Whereas before the weighted ones were only wood. So that's another plus cool feature there. And then you go into your regular wood and they've got all kinds of colors. There's all different sizes, the seven inch model. There's even small bass models. They come in a wide variety of colors and sizes. So there's something for every application, every color pattern that you want. When you're pairing up your rod with your jerk bait, some people prefer a short stiff rod. Some prefer a short flexible, a long stiff, long flexible. It's all a personal preference and what's comfortable for you. Uh, it's, in addition to being comfortable, you want to make sure that the action of the bait is right. So this, we'll use this uh, rod for example first. It's a, it's a eight foot six medium heavy. This is typically my bucktail rod, but I can work jerk baits with it as well. I put a Husky Musky leader, jerk bait leader on, and I'll put a link to them in the description. And all you do is cast your bait out. Some people pop it straight down like you would a glide bait. So they'll just straight down with their rod, reeling, you know, one turn per pop usually, uh, get into a rhythm. Another thing, pop, pop, let it hang. Pop, pop, let it hang. It's just a different technique to trigger the fish. Now when I work jerk baits personally, and this is just a comfortability thing for me, is I like to pull mine off to the side a little. And my main reason behind that is when I do it, I can immediately move into a sweeping hook set. And then when you get them in for your figure eight, just keep working them like you would a normal, on a normally on a retreat. So you just pop, float, pop, float. Okay, so the hang time on this bait, we'll show you on the weighted one here give it some rips here and get it down where I want it okay we've got it a few feet down so I'll just let it hang it noses up starts to level out has a little shimmy to it and you can twitch it a little with your reel or your rod as it's doing that but look at how long it's hanging in the water it's just now starting to get within inches of the surface so when you're using this as a triggering technique which is a great thing for this weighted bait is you let it hang for fish that are just, if they're in a neutral mode or a negative mode and they're just really not active. If you put this in front of them, the dive and the rise, that's what a dying fish does. And the way it just kind of hangs there, it makes it look like a very injured, weak fish. So it's an opportunity meal for the muskie. So again, just cast it out. And like I said, some people do a straight down pump to work it I like like I said I like to work it off to the side and that's strictly um, on the standpoint of if I'm working it and I get a fish on I can boom roll off to the side into a hook set 
So that's your weighted Suic Thriller. Like I said, I love these baits. Caught a lot of fish on them. Um, one of my most productive days on the water uh, for 2016 was actually using a seven inch Thriller. A buddy of mine and myself were out and we boated five muskies and raised four more in an hour and a half with the Thriller. I mean, it's just, they're a phenomenal bait. I always tell everybody it's the most underutilized bait on the market. And the standpoint of that is because people kind of freak out when they think, oh my God, I have to tune this bait. It's not as bad as you'd think. We'll grab one right now and talk about it because I've got one in my box that I haven't tuned. So you get the bait out of the package. It's the tail straight. Everything's normal with it. If you want a sharp snapping dive, bend the tail straight down. The deeper, it'll run deeper with it flat and if and just a slight up on the tail. Now the side to side shimmy, that comes into play by bending either side of the tail down or both. It just depends on the action you want. Like mine, I like it to have a little wobble and then when I pause it, I like it to kick to one side or the other. So depending on which side you want it to kick to dictates which, uh, which side of the tail you bend down. You can also adjust the eyelet on these. And that will also help with the side to side shimmy and which way it kicks. Now, something I figured out recently, and this was by happy accident with myself, <coughs> was actually how, <laughs> how to get this bait to have a little bit more shimmy. And I know some people uh, that I've talked to are actually doing this and have done it for a long time, but it was a new thing to me. I was actually casting um, into a, a ditch that has some muskies in it and I'd hit an overpass and it rounded my the ends of my tails over. Actually, I think I've got the bait right here. And like I was saying, um, I figured out to round the tails and it was just an accident. You can see how it's kind of rounded over just a little bit. It's not a sharp bend like a normal uh, tuning job would be. And that's normally what I do. I just grab it, pinch and bend with pliers, my finger. But I've started to round these and what it does is when it's going through the water, it gives it just a little bit more belly wobble and shimmy side to side. So it's a great triggering technique. <clears throat> so now we'll move on to a shorter stiffer rod. This is a seven, six. Um, some people like down all the way down to six foot. But again, just cast it out. And like I said, some people pump, pump, pump. You know straight down like i said i like to do off to the side i just feel like i get a better better action out of it the way i want it and you would not believe how unbelievably loud these baits are under the water insane and that flash on the tail just another added attractant you've got your colors you can match the hatch you can just pick something bright something dark for contrast like I do on this water body is pretty clear <clears throat> you can work them with your reel um, I recommend against that just on the standpoint of unnecessary wear and tear on your on your reel but you can see this has a lot more um, a lot more speed on the paws to rise up. It don't have as much hang time as the weighted one. Which, again, you know, that can be another triggering aspect for when you're fishing. Um, you can work these aggressively. You can work them slow. You know, an aggressive standpoint, it would be just a, a rip, pull, rip, pull. Very, very little on the paws, if at all. Um, you can also work them very 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 slow um, a lot of times I'll work them slow to the point of I'll cast it out I'll do my you know initial pop I'll let it float back up and I'll just let it sit for a minute 
you know, keep your keep a little slack in your line, not a whole lot, enough to where you'll still be able to sweep when you hook set and, and get the hooks driven into the bone. Um, but yeah, I just, sometimes, it, and it all depends on how the fish are acting, on how I work it. You, know, you can work aggressively, like I said, or you can work it relatively slow. You do want um, a real, typically with a higher line pickup, just because the, when you jerk it, you develop slack now, you want to be able to pick that up quickly. Um, and it's just less work on you. You can do it with a standard, you know, reel that doesn't have a you know, high capacity line pickup. So, you know, again, snap, pause, and you can work it real slow. Let it sit there. Sometimes that'll trigger them. You know, if you see them following behind it, you know, just as soon as it hits the surface, just give it, a, give it a little twitch. Something just to keep that fish interested. You know, make sure you got your slack picked up. You can dive, pause, dive, pause. Go into your figure eight. You can work it normal on your figure eight and just figure eight because the bait will shimmy a little bit or you can give it little jerks through your figure eight and give it that flash. Um, the wood ones, and like I said, they have a little bit more of a snap um, and a diving action when you're um, working them. This was the high impact plastic, and we'll go back to the weighted one here for a second. Just to show again the hang time. So pop and it just sits there. Pop, just sits there. And I don't know if you're able to see this on film, the flash off of it, even running as deep as it is. <clears throat> but it, this thing puts off a lot of flash, a lot of noise running through the water. It was just a tremendous bait. Puts big fish in the boat year after year. And it just hangs, it mimics a dying fish. What better, <laughs> what better way to attract a muskie than something that they want to eat anyway? And now, it's they don't have to expend as much energy to chase it down because it's already dying. So you're just mimicking that. But that's a Suic Thriller. Um, there's other jerk baits out there. If anybody wants to see videos on them, just comment in the uh, comment section. I don't have a problem doing that. I just prefer Suic Thrillers, um, just because of their reliability. Um, how long they've been in uh, in business, you know, and available on the market. You know, there's there's a reason behind that, and it's because they catch fish. Um, they're a very simple product in the standpoint of you cast, boom, 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 you know, do your snaps, your jerks, which is why it's called a jerk bait, and um, just reel it in. I mean, you know, work it, play with it. There's no wrong way to work it. There's no right way. Like the ways I just described on how I do it, might not be the way you do it. Might not be the way John Doe does it, but it works for me. I catch fish that way, so it's not wrong. Um, you know, they they definitely you know put put big fish in the boat every year. Uh, it's a Suic Thriller. Uh, pick some up. You can get them at Musky Tackle online. I'll put a link to them in the description. And right now, speaking of Musky Tackle online, we're doing a promotion. If you want to purchase some baits say the Thriller or any other product that he carries, and you want to save some money, message him before you place your order. Just go to the contact button, uh, send him a message, tell him that the Musky Kid or Caden, however you want to do it, sent you, and you will get 10% off your order. If you put your order in and already have it paid for, and then tell him, uh, he'll give you a credit for 10% off your next order. So it's however you want to do that, but let him know that I sent you. Save you a little bit of money and happy fishing. Catch a big one.